Lekki Bridge. This bridge is more like that bridge you see around the This bridge is a bridge like the one you see around the um, uh, France, London, and so many other locations. It looks like, right? Okay, so today we are the Lekki Ikoi Bridge. So this particular bridge takes you to Ikoi, and for mainland lovers, it's been long you saw mainland. You live in abroad. You live in U.S. You live in um, Canada. You live in. Uh, so many parts of Lagos um, and it's been long you even drive through this particular road this is one of the most interesting vlog you would ever see the reason why I call it one of the most interesting is because you would be hearing so much I'm going to be talking about inflation I'm also going to be talking about versus real estate you know why because we need to understand how these things are working and another thing you might really want to find out in this video is what some locations really look like at the moment all right so if you don't know right on at tv we have a playlist that we have as event and tour where we, when we tour around we show a lot of locations so today we are going to be looking at how inflation is boosting real estate market also and then for clients in diaspora this is a very nice store where you see lucky area at some um, lucky area okay all these locations are lucky down to ikui axis and we are already in ikui right so let's take a look at um a lot of things about uh lagos one song that keeps on running through my mind is this mobile song that says uh many many things i still find my peace ha, good no matter how far you've been away from your country at least you should be at peace and when you're even coming back home you should also be at peace no matter what you're doing no matter the investment you're putting in your funds no matter what you're doing with your funds please be at peace now let's start with fuel price fuel price may be souring but there's one sector that's still striving really really hard if you must know in some locations fuel is 800 and something there some locations 1000 per liter in some locations 1200 per liters i heard in uyo somewhere within uyo it's 1500 per liters now this is quite challenging and is creating a whole lot of opportunities for nigerians in diaspora because when they look at the conversion rates compared to what it is at the moment they're always very excited they're always very happy and i'm wondering ah what's going on what are they thinking in their mind okay and um one thing you need to know is that if you have questions about this please feel free to drop them at the comment section box and um, we'll be very active to give you more details about whatever you want to know so this is ikoi ikoi is one of the most premium expensive luxury area and extremely safe when it comes to you thinking of getting a house getting a land it might be pricey but trust me you are in a safe place first i want to have an overview of the economic challenges so now if you look at fuel price it has made a whole lot of things increase in nigeria but guess what those in diaspora some of them are happy I, I mean somebody called me like uh, last week and the person was saying oh Anne, i think now is the best time to actually get some lots of land some houses in lagos because ah, prices my uh, you know dollar keep um uh, naira keep falling and dollar keep rising and i'm like why are you happy are you not a nigerian you're supposed to be a nigerian but the truth of the matter which is the second part we're going to be looking at today is that real estate is just as a hedge against inflation whether you like it or not i'm going to be very frank with you when it comes to real estate development the prices keep shooting up just as 
inflation is eating cement and so many others you wouldn't believe it do you know that even my mom that has a house that has tenants told me to increase our rent and i keep wondering what's the what's the new thing that you've put in the house that you are increasing rent because inflation is touching everything so every landlord once inflation eats gary it will increase the price and you keep wondering why are you not yet a landlord is it because you're in diaspora don't you think there might be a time you want to retire to nigeria don't you think there might be a time your children might want to have some things to do in nigeria we have nigerians who have houses even in countries that they don't they, they don't even know much about i have clients who have houses in ghana who have houses in south africa and so many other locations just because if they go there they don't want to be spending so much in short lets and they want to know oh this is mine so why am i saying this i'm actually emphasizing on emphasizing on this because i know that it's important to invest into real estate no matter where you are in the world so when it comes to inflation many nigerians know that if you're running a business even those that are doing uber boats and all that they're complaining because they buy fuel at a very high rate and the profit they are making have actually gone down and that doesn't mean when they want to buy gary or tomatoes it will not be high so i need you to understand certain things there are some businesses you fix in your phone at this moment in nigeria you might not see but there are some that are very practical and then you see it previously you can get bungalows in lagos for as low as 25 million about three years ago 25 million 30 million naira within the lake axis now the least bungalow you will get that i know of at the moment is 55 million naira. i'm not joking i'm telling you how these things are so if you see someone who is who is planning to sell a bungalow that worth 55 million for 30 million right now please you need to check if that particular property is okay all right so the good thing about this is that the inflation that has hit nigeria real estate is still ahead of it because properties you buy at the moment has also skyrocketed in price some have even tripled previously on the lucky axis you can get good terraces for as low as 40 million naira. that's about three years ago but now the least terrace i can recommend to you that has a bq spacious with high ceiling it's actually going for 85 million naira. i don't want to scream too hard but i want to tell you that when getting properties in nigeria there are so many things that you would look out for okay so this is husband for sure for those who don't know you always hear of husband for sure that's where it is okay and we are already almost climbing the third Milan bridge so the good thing about this again that you need to know is that it's going to be an interesting journey for us because we're going to also look at how you can grow your wealth and um, through real estate persevere and grow some people want real estate to just boom 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 you know <laughs> they put in money this year next year boom they have their money i always tell them something real estate is not magic if you see landlords who are not educated who have put in money in real estate they made their money over the years it's not magic now the people that can make this money in one year are people we call developers a very good smart developers will put in funds into where he will make so much money and then get his money within a year or two and that is why a lot of developing companies are coming up with a strategy that we call real estate investments and the good thing about this is that this scheme has worked it's tested i've also i've also tested my money in it now there's a saying that if you don't take risk you can't be rich that that statement is not wrong it is to, it is totally right i call it 100 percent right when you take risk then you can be rich riches come with risk if you can flip through of course you are going to make it in life so if you don't know 
this particular road takes you to Todd Milan Bridge, another road takes you to Eco Bridge. So we are going through the Todd Milan Bridge. It's been long you saw the mainland, right? Boom, boom. <laughs> this is another nice video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell to get notified on each time we do a post right on the Hatta TV. Follow us up on all of our social media platform and make sure you stay tuned. Now for this behind this, there is the face. <laughs> and uh because i don't want you to miss anything at all so while we are driving down this is a very nice tour all the way from lekki to Todd milan bridge and i know you're curious and where which precisely on the mainland are you going to i will not say it i just want you to pay attention and look through okay just look through so that you can enjoy the process all right so Whatever you see that you don't know, you can ask at the comment section box. It's going to be a, a very nice one to discuss this with you. So let's push on on this real estate investment scheme. The surest that I've tested and it's working. My clients have tested and they are, and they are all happy reinvesting is real tipping. So wherever you have come across that word real tipping, please take note. It's one of the best real estate investments you cannot miss out from now we have clients who have put in as much as 100 million 200 million in realty pain because they are sure and guaranteed of getting their funds back now let me pitch a bit on what realty pain is so you can see the third milan bridge uh, signboard and all that so this particular um, scheme this is how it works you put in money in a space of 12 months 18 month or 24 month now if you put it in 12 month you earn as much as 30 percent 35 percent 45 percent respectively it depends on the amount you are putting in and how long you are putting in the fund do you know you can still earn as much as 65 percent if you put in funds for as much as 24 months well i'm not going to speak blah 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 i'm telling you what this is now if you check our instagram page you will see highlights because realty pain is very confidential so we can't really post a lot more that might really interest you so we can't really post a lot more that can really interest you all right so the best we can do at this moment is to post i mean some write-up that you know clients give but you can't know the clients because you're not supposed to so at the end of the day I will just tell you to give it a try out. We have clients who try the 10 million and they're like, oh, and thank you for this. A client told me that and if I lose money, you will pay me back. And I said, yes, if you lose the money, I'll pay you back. And if you gain the money, ha, you go give me something. No? <laughs> so these are some of the ways to fix in your funds and you get it in short time because you are not a developer. You don't expect properties you get immediately to start yielding funds for you. Okay. You only take that decision when you think you want a long-term uh, investment to yield for you. For example, let me explain. If you want a short-term investment, I would recommend you to go for real tipping, which you can send us WhatsApp message on plus two three four eight one two two three four five seven five two. You can check the screen to get the correct number. Once you send us a message, we'll send you more details about it. Just send us real tipping and you'll get the full details on how to invest your money. Now, I know you might be really scared to put in your money in some banks with some news that are flying around. The other day, I saw a pastor saying uh, there's a particular bank you need to be careful of. Now, wrote the, the logo like this. I said, uh, well, I always scream to a lot of viewers, when you keep your money in Nigerian bank, it's like you're just taking a risk. That you don't know but in real tipping your funds are tied to real estate projects you can see i'm talking about project that you can see it's going to be in your document so yes there's nothing to fear and those projects are valued even more than the money and the profit you're supposed to get so when we give you a project a, a project that is for example you put in a hundred million and we give you a house project and then the house project is worth almost 150 million naira, and you have to get like 130 million. Who gains? You gain a whole a whole whooping 20 million naira. Oh my god! As in, which company will give you that? They rather give you your money and your profits. 
I need you to get this. This is business. So you have to understand how these things work. And then if you are the type that you want a long-term investment, we have so many that I can recommend you to. Right from Ikoi, Lucky Face One, Agungi, okay? All of those Ikate, um, Chevron, Ikota, Aja, Olokola, um, Shongo Tedo, Abijo, Eleko, Ibejuleki, Ekpe, out of Lagos, other parts of Nigeria. It depends on where you want to put the investment. We can give you all of this at ease without stress. Now let's push further so that you can understand how these things work. Now there are some people who also need what we call buy and build land. If you ever think of buy and build land, please ensure that you get you inform anyone looking for the property for you that you need a buy and build land so that you can get the land and then you build. These things are very, very easy. Now we also have locations like in Abuja also where you can fix in your phones and then you will, ha you will be happy. We have properties in Abuja, in Kashi, Jabi, so many nice locations around this axis that you will love. Now, if you must tell me about other parts of Nigeria where you can make money, I mean, it could be a stream of income for you month after month. When we talk about the rental market and the Airbnb boom, now the rental market is thriving due to rising living costs. Investors can actually make significant return through rental properties, especially with the rise of short-term rentals like Airbnb. Provide Airbnb in Nigeria, even you can start with one, and then you will thank me in a few years. Because every Nigerian city, in some locations, Airbnb are always fully booked. The other day, I was trying to look for Airbnb for a client in Ikoi. It was like no other. I mean, it was almost like impossible. But this Airbnb is mostly used by diaspora people who visit Nigeria certain time. It's used by those who don't like hotels, they just want to be in Airbnb. It's used by those who are into maybe movie production and so many other locations like that and then airbnb is moving even by some offices some offices who are who have expatriates prefer to go for an airbnb because of the quality of service there's always light okay but there is no generator not all that they fix everything and make sure everything is working perfectly well now I'm going to move to the next stage on this particular video, which is one of the most interesting parts. Diaspora specific incentive. Do you know why I call it diaspora specific incentive? Because it's a no go area for every diaspora not to put in their funds into real estate because of the exchange rate. You don't have any reason, except village people are just behind you honestly but if village people are not behind you i mean you should own streams of real estate streams of lucrative very very nice real estate honestly because there are some things you might actually look down on and then you say oh i don't i'm not i don't live in nigeria i'm not an investor in nigeria at the end of the day you're not looking at looking at how you can make so much of it and then fund whatever you want to fund in nigeria with that money so you need to understand how these things work and then do it and do it well some people will tell you that oh i really i know all my money all my money are in dollars i, I can't deal with naira but there are some naira that when you convert, you still see your funds in triple instead of keeping the funds in the bank and it's not doing anything. So today, I'd also like to dive into some very important um, discussion about properties 
in Lagos. The fear of so many people thinking of, ha, ah, you think if I put in money in Lagos, I will not lose money? Hey, Lagos that Igbo people are, are having issues. Are you sure these things are real? Some of these are questions. We're going to tackle it like right now. If you're not a Lagosian, you don't live in Lagos, you are not from Lagos, you are an Igbo person, Hausa person, or from any part of Nigeria, and you are very skeptical about Lagos. This video is a video you should watch. You know why? Because it's going to open up your mind to so many things that you didn't know. You see, Lagos, anytime, let me give you this top secret that nobody will tell you. Anytime you decide to get a property anywhere in the world, not just Lagos, I mean anywhere in the world, understand their real estate market, understand the policies guiding real estate buyers and buying real estate in that country. The moment you are able to do that, abide to those policies and regulations every document you are supposed to get for that particular house do it no matter what goes wrong the only thing that can take off that from you is war because war can bring uh, that we call it first major first major so if there is an issue that is not that is under is not under control of anybody that can destroy anything even lives but right here you need to understand so this side takes you to Anthony then to Ikeja area and all that I hope you know if you know if you don't know you know <laughs> okay so we are still here this road takes you to Agege Ikorodu Lagos. This road. Okay, let's talk about our Ikorodu property. Hmm. That's interesting, right? Okay, before I continue, let's talk about Ikorodu property. We just bought out new property in Ikorodu. We are here to launch it. A lot of people have subscribed and it's still remaining you watching this video because one of the most affordable. If you must know, as things are going up, it will come to a stage people would need to have their own farm there's a reason for that you see it is best to have your own your own land that you can use and then you will know that you have your land to get your fresh food food are becoming very expensive i remember when a crate of egg used to be less than 600 naira. i remember when it was 1000 and i remember when it was 2000 I remember when it was 3,000. I remember when it was 4,000. As I speak with you, a crate of egg in Nigeria is 5,500 naira. And before one year runs out, honestly, from now, it might eat 10,000. What does that tell you? It tells you that there are some things that people are going to be doing soon by themselves. This is Oshodi. If you don't have respect for anyway, you have respect for Oshodi. You see this phone? I'm going to bring it down. Oh my, this, this is Osho Dio. This is Osho Dio. So this is Osho Dio. Like I told you, I'm actually hiding. I'm hiding to make this video. They must pay. Hey, you call them my hey. You see this? If you don't want respect anywhere in Lagos, respect here. Respect here. I've heard plenty just about this place. So when we live here, we'll talk about more. You want to see Osho Dio? It's not me that will show you Oshodi. Maybe in future, I can fly my drone to show you what Oshodi looks like. But right now, we are passing Oshodi. Okay? So, if you are still watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to this YouTube channel immediately. And then, if you have questions, please drop them below. But don't laugh about this. This is serious matter. Okay? So, as I was saying, we are going to be talking about our... Um, uh, we're going to be talking about our uh, land in Ikorodu. So, the good thing about this land is that we've got farmland, 
as low as six plots for four million naira jesus that is too good for anybody who has been looking for farmland you've been looking for farmland i am thinking about this hey you need to rush like six acres ten acres whether you want it or not you need it whether you live in nigeria or not just get the farmland get the farmland and thank me later get the farmland in 10 acres get the farmland in six acres did you see that that a uh, 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 plane over there can you see wow this looks really nice nice view right so i have to be very frank with you that in life some things come as opportunities and you never get them back i promise you you see this farmland if you miss it you can't get any other farmland for that price in Ekba right now a plot of farmland is 1.3 million 1.5 million that's the least you can get that is good now that you have in Imota in Ikorodu for 4 million for 6 plots in fact it's for 5 plots and you still get 1 plot free please don't let me shout there's also residential land there for 4.5 million naira. there's commercial land for 1.5 million naira per plot there is um, industrial land also available for 13 million naira for one hectare honestly you should be taking the right decision and then thank me in few years time now while we're driving i also want to chip in some things you need to know about properties that are close to the airport we are first approaching uh this is this location takes us to the airport this other one here our location takes us to the international airport and not also far away from the local airport now most people don't know that what developed ikeja area is the airport if you go to ikeja and see what a plot of land is saying you will scream a plot of land in ikeja in some location what almost one billion but as i speak with you we still have land within the lucky area close to the lucky airport if you go to this lucky area we're talking about government is creating so much when it comes to road expansion because they are preparing the location for the airport you have to get this check very right the other day i think about four years ago i was telling a client about the lucky deep sea port and the client said bet with me and the government will never complete this project wow wow do you know that client didn't get that property at that moment but he has gotten the property now because he's convinced he's convinced because the lucky deep sea port is not functioning it's ready it's one of the largest in africa you have to get this thing straight when it comes to where government will make money also they don't sleep in lagos maybe some other parts of nigeria i don't know but in lagos they don't sleep if you see the coastal road to the uh, uyo area if you see how far government has gone you will be amazed so while you are watching this video start having it at the back of your mind how you want to get land close to the lake airport we have see your full land good documents that you can get it used to be 18 million it's now 10 million for 300 square meter and the um uh, 500 square meter also has increased but the good thing is if you are calling me within this week this week you're seeing this video we can close up on this if you like you can get six plots you can get five plots honestly these are properties that are going to give you one billion later these are properties that are going to, that are going to sell for 500 million these are properties you will make money and you'll be remembering my name hey i pray you remember me to even give me something there <laughs> okay so ah this is one of the most interesting part again you might want to know in real estate you see it's very easy to get scam in real estate it's very easy to invest right in real estate never ever you think involving your family that are not professionals are the best way to get real estate because the moment you are giving them our number to call first thing they will ask is what is my game if the realtor says no 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 let's try and get a good property first your brother or your family member or friend will be angry 
and what would they do next they will push you to another place where you start regretting at least i've been in business for many years and i can tell you that i have seen a whole lot i've seen client regrets i've seen clients sweat putting their money into a location because their brother did not say ah and on is good though hey god so in order not to face this kind of issue endeavor to always do your due diligence correctly ensure that you are buying the property of your choice and ensure that you have done your documentation and you have gotten all the documents that you think i know some people are already thinking of where i'm driving to so if you have an idea where i'm driving to please drop them at the comment section box this video does not have a pause all the way from lucky face one so if you can ask me how long will it take you to drive lucky face one to the airport you don't need anybody to tell you i'm sure you are aware of how long this can take and the good thing is we still met a little traffic on the way not like the road was 100 percent smooth so we're already in okota okota is another location that maybe you haven't been there before you haven't seen and then i'm sure that you will be happy to see some other areas in this axis okay so if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel do that right now turn on your notification bell to get notified on each time we do a post right on the heart to heart tv follow us up on all of our social media platform and make sure you stay tuned to watch a whole lot we have a lot of videos on our youtube especially through the playlist so you go there and watch it this is a real Lagos, okay if you haven't seen so part in lagos how people uh move how people enjoy how people sell hmm? at least you are witnessing it in this video you're seeing how it is hmm? you're seeing how these things are okay so this is a road water i see don't know what that man has done but okay they are angry with him Okay. Uh -huh. so i'm sure you're having a nice time with this video if you have lived in okota before or you know someone who has lived in okota uh it's been long you've been to okota is this video i'm sure would interest you that's goo park you can drop them at the comment section box i want to know and then i want to know a lot of things you want to share with me about okota that i don't know all right okay this is uba bank also here okay this is bet king um this is a gas station a gas station this is fcmb bank is a school as a mox this is GT Bank. This is Access Bank. Okay. This is Bet Ninja. This is Superstore. That's a school. This is a Church Adventist. Four Square. This is Echo Bank. This is Zeni Bank. This is NMPC filling station. So we have Zeni Bank. Side. We have Anglican Church. Oh, Range Rover. So we have what else again? Nice, nice locations around here. I think we're done with everything we really want to discuss today. So we'll call it a day. And I hope you stay tuned to watch much more video that we have right here. If you have questions, remember to drop them below. If you really enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up by liking, share, comment, and thank me later for making some of the best decisions after watching this video. So you do have a great day. Bye.